Well, the Justice Department reaching settlements with two Tea Party groups after the IRS wrongfully delayed their tax exempt statuses during the Obama administration. My next guest is the founder of one of those groups. Here now, Mark Meckler, Tea Party Patriots co founder and the Citizens for Self Governance president. Mark, it's good to have you here. Thank you for having me. Do you feel that justice has been served? Well, I certainly we're happy with the size of the settlement, $3.5 million from the IRS is nothing to scoff at. What I'm still waiting for is the truth from the IRS. So this is the piece of the puzzle that I think it, it will remain missing for a while, which is what actually happened, who knew about it, and we've learned a lot of stuff through discovery and the litigation. But I don't think the story is yet told, and I don't think the apology has been forthcoming. I mean, this was a large case. I mean, you've got 41 plaintiffs. Um, it, even just in that first case, there was the two cases. But, you know, it's interesting because Jeff Sessions really seemed to come out and say, look, the First Amendment is the First Amendment, and, and this was a breakdown of all of that within the, you know, the Constitution. But Sessions also came out, and I want to read you this. He said, it is now clear that during the last administration, the IRS began using inappropriate criteria to screen applicants. Applications. Hundreds of organizations were affected by these actions, and they deserve an apology from the IRS. I think many people believe you do deserve an apology, but apology. But do you think that you really got one from the IRS on all of this? No, we really didn't get an apology from the IRS. And our litigation was the 430 plus members of the class action. They still owe those people an apology. But more importantly. I'd like to know exactly what happened. I'd like to know who knew what when, as the political saying goes in these kinds of scandals. We still don't know that. The IRS, in my opinion, still has not gotten its house in order. We have no real way of knowing how this happened in the first place and how we can prevent it again. So I think there's still a lot of work to do even after mm -hmm. the settlement. Well, I think that's the question for, for anyone out there, whether whatever side of the aisle they're on, you know, that the, the IRS would have this kind of overreach and this kind of power. When the scandal broke in 2013, we all felt that way. Do you think that the IRS would do this again, potentially, to any group, left or right? Yeah, I think the answer is they absolutely would. I think there is a culture of corruption inside the IRS. I think there's a, a absolute power uh, corruption kind of scandal going on inside the IRS even today. Uh, there's very little oversight provided by Congress to the IRS. As I said, they've been nothing but obstinate as far as providing documentation or any kind of openness about what actually happened inside. And that means that the potential still exists. The IRS is still the deep swamp, the deep state in Washington, D.C., and it mm -hmm. cries out for reform.